Let's talk about constant current. We're going to make a constant current uh, source here. We're going to use a transistor. This happens to be a 2N222. What we want to do is we want to have a, uh, a known voltage from the emitter to ground through a known resistance, and that's going to give us a, a current. Now, we want to maintain this voltage from emitter to ground, so we're going to use a Zener uh, diode. It's going to be a 5.1 Zener, and so we're always going to have our 5.1 volts going into the base here. So, in order to calculate this resistor, this R2 here, R2 is going to be equal to the emitter voltage divided by the emitter current. Now, we're going to pick uh, 20 milliamps because we're going to run some LEDs with it. So, we take the emitter voltage is equal to the base voltage minus the base to emitter voltage. So, we have 5.1 volts here, but we're going to drop 0.6 volts across this junction right here. So, from emitter to ground, that means we're only going to have uh, 4.5 volts. And we're going to divide that by our um, 20 milliamps, or 0.02 amps, and that comes out to 225 ohm resistor. Now, I don't have a 225 ohm, so I have a, uh, a 200 ohm resistor. I'm going to put that in there. If I have 200 ohms here and, uh, and 4.5 volts across it, that means I'm going to have 22.5 uh, milliamps across this, this here. Now, the load current is going to be a little bit different. The load current is equal to the emitter current minus the base current. We're adding some current through the base here. So the base current is equal to the emitter current divided by the, the beta of the transistor. Now this happens to be at about 180. So we take our 180 and divide that into our 20 milliamps and it comes out to 0 0.00011. So we just have to subtract that off of our 20 milliamps and it comes out to 19.88 milliamps. Of course, we're not starting with our 20 milliamps. We're up at uh, 22.5 uh, milliamps. So we'll see what uh, what kind of load current we have here. Now, we want to find R1. Now, R1 is equal to the input voltage uh, minus the Zener diode voltage divided by the current of the, the rating of the Zener. So I'm going to put 12 volts in and uh, so I have 5 volts here, so that means I'm going to have 7 volts dropped across this resistor here. So, and I take uh, that, uh, this is, the Zener is good for about 50 milliamps, I'm going to use 40. So 0 0.04 times the 7 is uh, 0.28 watts, so it's going to be 280 milliwatts. And uh, so I'm going to have to have a, uh, a watt, half a watt resistor there. I'll stick a half watt resistor there. Of course, I don't have 175 uh, ohm resistor. I had the 200. I put the 200 in there, and so th that should be should be fine. A little less current through the uh, through the Zener here. So, we'll uh, let's give it a try. I got a a unit set up here. I've got uh, well, I've got 23 milliamps across there. Not bad. I don't know how accurate the meter is, and the uh, these resistors might be uh, five uh, five percent, but we've got uh, 23 uh, milliamps. Now I'm going to add these three uh, uh, LEDs right here and see what happens. Okay, so I increase the load by quite a bit, but I still have uh, 23 milliamps across it. So you notice that it dimmed down a little bit. You know the voltage has dropped off a bit, but uh, I'm still maintaining my same uh, current through this unit here. So if I if I pull that out, I still have my 23 uh, milliamps, which I want. And if I add the uh, the other um, LEDs, 23. So I'm I'm maintaining the uh, the current. Of course, the voltages can drop off a little bit, uh, but uh, that's uh, that's constant current. That's a good little unit. Now in the past we've done it with an LM317. Uh, on that one, you have your um, your resistance here, and you you the uh, these units have a, uh, a reference voltage of 1.5 volts in them, and we're dropping that reference voltage across this uh, resistor here, and that determines the uh, the current output. And then we've we've done it before with a current limiting JFET. There's a, I have a video on that one too, but that's uh, that's constant current. Thank you.